right, it's time for a speculation video. So as you learned in part one, I got some really awesome shots of the construction site. I mean, look at this. This is fantastic. Um, the angle of the shot is perfect. I now know that the brake run station area transfer track is complete, the turnout of the station is complete, and the pre-lift is almost complete. Um, the tunnel from up here looks super large, a lot larger than it looks down on the ground. Um, then also from the drone, it's definitely a very long tunnel. Again, back to our speculation videos from a while ago, we have a very long pullout on this coaster compared to that of Val Raven. Then we also got some awesome shots of this pre-lift area. This, this pre-lift area is massive. Compared to that of um, uh, Val Ravens, it's like a lot larger of a footprint. It is even much larger of a footprint than that too of Leviathan. Um, it's crazy how large this is. So you see them here working on a very large portion. Well, yeah, there's a back part to this that hasn't been poured yet that they need to pour. Like, look at the big dig out. They have a back portion that they're gonna um, pour and make a massive um, kind of like pre-lift area. It's insane. Um, so here's that first turn out of the station, footer done. Um, you have that what looks like a uh, stress footer next to the pre-lift, which will be connected eventually. Um, we should see that. That's what we think it is. Um, we learned and read up about that. So it relieves stress um, to a much denser soil lower down on the ground. It's very deep. Um, that's why you see it being so large. It's probably extremely deep. Um, yeah, these are those kids I met. <laughs> Just recycled the footage for this um speculation video this one clip but yeah it's massive um so as many of you know uh we've been working with art of engineering um and they have a, a software that they get to put our pictures and videos through um and it spits out um kind of like uh what angles like and stuff like that i don't know too much about that if you can tell i'm like trying to describe it um and embarrassing myself so i'm just gonna pull up some of the facts i got from the pictures we got in depth um so give me one second i should have had this ready when i made the video don't ask me why i did it but okay so we went through a couple of scenarios here we wanted to go over every scenario possible we know that the lift hill is approximately between 80 meters and 90 meters it looks like it's 90 meters um it used to be 105 meters but we shortened it down to account for you know the arch at the top um and a bit of the pre-lift we wanted to take out any room for air there as much as possible so now we're saying 90 meters but we wanted to go even safer and say between 80 and 90 meters don't worry this isn't going to affect the height that much that's how tall this thing is so the computer generator obviously spat out a 45 degree angle. That's awesome. That's what we were looking for. Um, so with the clearer pictures and the much better viewpoint, we got a 45 degree angle out of that machine, um, which is awesome. So we're gonna say a few numbers here. The first one seems really unlikely, but who knows? So with a 45 degree angle and a 90 meter lift hill, this coaster should be around 200 and 95 feet tall, excluding the tunnel. Can you imagine? That would be the tallest ride in the park if that ends up being true. So we were like, okay, that number seems really high and not what we were expecting. So we were like, why don't we shorten the lift hill to 80 meters and be really safe? I know the lift hill is probably a little larger than 80 meters, but we wanted to be a little safe and account for some air. So we were like, okay, 80 meters, 45 degree angle. Um, so 80 meters and a 45 degree angle brought us to 262 feet tall, excluding the tunnel. Okay. So this is definitely looking like an extremely large coaster. So here's the pre-lift of Leviathan, much smaller than that to this new dive coaster being built at Canada of Wonderland. It is very intriguing as to what's going on with this coaster. So what do you guys think? Are we going to see the tallest ride in the park completed? Is this going to be the tallest coaster in the park? With a 45 degree angle and a 90 meter long lift hill, it should be the largest roller coaster in the park height wise. That's insane. I was not expecting that. I was expecting 300 feet max, including the tunnel. Now, 
even with, let's say it's 80 meters and there is some error in this estimation and the, because anyone who's seen the construction site knows that the, the lift hill has to get to a certain point uh, to make it into the tunnel. So we're accounting for that. So let's say 80 meters, even though it really shouldn't be 80 meters, I would say 85 meters, maybe like absolutely minimum. But let's say 80 meters, okay? So 262 feet tall, 260 foot, 262 foot tall dive coaster diving into a tunnel depth of like approximately 24 feet. That's insane. Okay, like let, let, let's look at this now. I was actually, many of you know my speculation videos. I go over some of the facts we were seeing. I was like, okay, wow. You know, the bottom of our pullout it has more bolts than that to Val Raven. It's a much longer pullout to Val Raven. And already that was like, I was like, okay, I, I'm, I'm not fully on the Giga train. I'm not fully on this like massive dive coaster train. I thought it was gonna be around 250 feet, to be honest. That's what I honestly thought this coaster was going to be, around 250 feet with the tunnel. Um, that's my on That's me being honest with you guys. But now with this evidence, all of it adding up, the start of the construction project, um, how long they've taken. They have to pay these construction companies to go on and on and start earlier. So a park isn't going to pay construction companies an extra year in labor if they don't have to. That alone should tell you a lot about this construction project. Two, the amount of bolts on the drop, okay? Yes, it may not mean much, but they're not going to engineer track to be extra thick if they don't need to. The long pullout compared to that of Val Raven and Leviathan, that means something too. They're not gonna make this massive tunnel longer than they need to. Then, now we have the long lift hill. 90 meters, 90 meters, let's say 80 meters to 105 meters, the length of the lift hill. Insane. Now add in the angle of ascent, 45 degrees. Okay, we're looking at a monster here. Now add in this longer layout. So this thing's gotta go all the way over to Timberwolf, cross into a little bit of Whitewater Canyon and then make it all the way back. It has double the amount of columns than that to Val Raven from what we can tell from the markings, okay? This is insane. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's gonna be 262 feet tall? Um, do you think it's gonna be uh, 290, 295 feet tall? So that means both of these equations might make it a giga. This coaster is gonna be insane. They might as well go down the giga route from what I understand. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video though. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't, hit that like button, go on over to our Patreon for exclusive content um, and uh, see you guys in all my videos every day. There's daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one guys, bye.